back again. Hello, friends. Thank you for tuning in. This is a short video on how to make the most out of your mounts. First off, if you know where the puppet spider is, then go for that area and force a mount at the top of the quest. Typically, you want to go for the monster that is not your target monster. In this case, my target monster was Agnosum, so I went for a monster other than Agnosum, which in this case happened to be Arzuros. After you use your puppet spider, mount the monster and then take him to your target monster. While mounted, you can force the monster to run by holding down R, or you can change it in the settings if you prefer. Once you get to the monster, you can press X or A for light or strong attacks. You can also press forward A and backwards A for different moves. Same with X. Also, if you press B, you evade and it uses a wire bug. The monster automatically attacks whatever is targeted in the top right. The green clock is the total duration of time you have while mounting the monster, and the orange meter builds up the more damage you do to the monster. A quick tip to getting all of your wire bugs back after you lose them, if you hold R and run again after an attack or after an evade, you'll get all of your wire bugs back. The orange meter slowly decreases after becoming completely full. This tells you how long you have to use the mounted punisher. This is performed by pressing both X and A at the same time. It also auto locks on. You can press it at the very last minute and keep attacking through the orange bar. The mounted finisher will finish the mounting sequence. Or if you'd like to get even more out of your mounts, you can launch the monster into your target monster and force a mount on the target monster. At this point, you want to make sure you have an extra wire bug so you can do more damage to your target monster. Now that you've mounted your target monster, you won't really want to attack the other monster because you were just using that monster to build up damage. Now you want to find a nice area to launch the monster into a wall and also have a wall positioned behind you or near you. It doesn't have to be behind you. Each time you press Y, you will throw the monster forward, and after hitting the wall, you can press B to recover on the monster, allowing you to throw it again against another wall. After you initiate launching a monster, you can't attack with that monster. You can only launch it into another monster, or again, into a wall. Using the extra wire bug, you'll actually get four wall bangs on a monster before it goes down. Also, if you launch a monster into another monster, it automatically ends the mount. So let's say the other monster that was in this area happened to be there when I was at the last launch for Agnosum. I could launch him into the Rogi, I think it was here, and get another mount and do more damage to Agnosum. If you're doing a double monster quest where you have to fight two monsters, you could do this sort of technique. Start off by fighting with one monster against another target monster, and then near the end of the mount, throw it against the wall, and throw it against the other monster at the very end of the wall banks. This is an example of a mount that uses the mounted punisher to finish the combo. At this point, the orange meter is almost full and with that attack, it is now full. I keep continuing to attack even after the meter is starting to drain, and I tried to leave myself full wire bugs at the start of the meter draining. At the very last second, I used the Mounted Punisher. And here is an example of me launching a monster into the target monster to finish the mount. I should have actually ran right here to get another wire bug, but instead I went for another attack. I might have been able to squeeze in one more attack before launching the monster to finish the mount. And that is pretty much it, friends. Hope you enjoyed the mounting tutorial that I made here. I hope you get more damage out of your mounts, my friends. Be sure to send it to any new hunters that you know of or that you invited into the series, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care, and happy hunting!